Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Sunique. This is a little unboxing of a new deck to me called Wild Woman Rising. Now this deck is by Angie Sullins and I've already done a walkthrough of this deck here, Divine Nature, by Angie Sullins. And I am enamoured with this deck. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've been working with it now for a few days and I really, really like it. And the art on this one here is by Jenna Della Grataglia. And I do like Jenna's art. I really do. I'm, I've had this good tarot here for a good number of years. And although it's a very gentle deck, and I can't get the box off. It's a Hay House one. This is quite an old one. Oh, come on, off you go. There we go. The artwork in this is done in yeah 2017 this one um and um yeah i this is quite a hug deck really for me it's gentle <laughs> actually it's all coming apart that's a shame um but yeah i just love this sort of art style i think it's dreamy and gorgeous and i mean how cool is that anyway i love this deck um, I would never use it reading for others, but it's just a little, I don't know, it's a comfortable deck, shall we say. It's not going to hurt. <laughs> you know, it doesn't hurt, this one. And it's interesting to see how we can put a spin on the cards that can be troublesome in a tarot deck. And I think it's done quite well in this one. So when I saw this one was uh, up for sale, I thought, yeah, I'm going to try this. And I like this here image on the front of the box. Let's just take this shiny stuff off. Seraphine. And have a little look. Okay. So it's got the same sort of opening closure as the divine nature so i'm presuming it's the same publishing company because that's that's gorgeous oh really like this one um and look at this isn't that gorgeous love that love that front image and let's have a little look at the back and so it says thrival not survival um thrival is that an actual word Maybe it should be thrive, not survive. Anyway, you've made your way to this deck, which means wild woman is alive in you. Then, don't like that. Um, you know, books that say you were drawn to this book for a reason. Uh, I just don't like that. I, mean, uh, I think we, we've we got autonomy. We can make our own minds up. And to be told that you were drawn to the deck because you need it, I don't, I don't actually like that sort of sentiment. Um, maybe that's just me anyway we'll overlook that it says use these 44 cards and 104 page guidebook as a siren's cry to connect with her court her wisdom and conjure her presence as it lives in your own wildish nature though she has been trivialized and truncated wild woman comes when called may this step be a battle cry and a peace song as it come as it companions your courtship okay in an era when so many are clamoring that the end is at hand the truth is that the beginning is near for there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise it's your time rise woman so it sounds as if it's quite a um stirring deck shall we say i don't know we'll, we'll find we'll find out as we go through it um, I'm not a forceful woman. I don't force myself on situations. I don't force myself on people. Uh, if they are... Yeah, this is a US Games 2022 deck. I was I saying? Yeah, I don't force myself into situations or on people. Um, that's not my way. I'm quite a passive soul, I suppose. I'm... I'm stubborn. <laughs> I'll put my hands up to that. I am a stubborn person. But then I've got Taurus rising with Mars in my first house. So, you know, 
make of that what you will anyway oh we've got a little one of those little bags again which we we had the same in the divine nature they actually provided a little green type one in this which is i've actually got the cards in it but yeah we had a green one for this one oh, i think this looks so beautiful i hope this one lives up to the same uh standard what's it saying is sink yourself into the feathered red sleeve of your ancestors and rise, woman, rise again, for you are Persephone's daughter, Lilith's lover, Eve's heir. Find the truth, eat the fruit, unless the myth and let it burn. I am very drawn to Lilith. I have been fascinated by Lilith, Lilith's story for years. And I am partly named after Lilith as well, by the by. So anyway, yes, this is the guidebook. It says, there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. And we've got that motif again here. It is... We have pages for notes here, a note from the author. So 99 pages. Oh, look at that. I am waiting for this deck. And look, there's Persephone's pomegranate. I've always said that which stands for woman in total control of herself and bitch stands for babe in total control of herself. I've said that for years because I think it's right. The Witchery Academy for the Sovereign Woman. Alrighty. So actually there's an active Facebook group and a Patreon for Andrew Salins there and a website. The Witchery the Witchery Academy can be found at www.andysullins.com if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so, all right, so we haven't got an awful lot of text for each card. What we do have is a full car colour image of each card. We have, let's go to the back, 44... 44 cards and the last card just as a taster of the deck here that's nice isn't it Bacchus vibes laugh with life laugh at the funny things laugh at the tragic things laugh with all the things laughter is magic and medicine and since we cannot predict nor control the events of our lives we might as well take as much medicine with us on our journey it's like a first aid kit for the soul and its essence sweetens sour grapes into wine. When we keep a space in our heart for laughter, we glimpse the invisible presence behind all things. And wild woman rises. I like that. Look at the hair. That's a beautiful picture. And this is the studio that I have created there. Unmasking a myth. When they want to control thee, they do not come with shackles made of iron. They come instead with cages made of shame and story. Oh, so true, so true, so true. I am actually just been reading a book by Brene Brown, all about shame. Um, I got it from the library. I've actually taken it back now, but if I can find an image of it, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, it's how we've been shamed. And it's so true. Anyway, like the one about the woman who earned crisis for her curiosity, so tempted by a life of wisdom and independence, she caused the downfall of all civilization. So, um, I, you know, if we go into the nature-nurture debate, I think as women, we are told to know our place even now i mean i know times are changing but yeah it's not been an easy uh, life as a woman would i do it again i don't think so anyway there's more okay so this is like a, a whole two page women are dangerous Says the shame story of Eve. They cannot be trusted and should not trust themselves. Okay. Give a woman free choice and she'll eat the fruit. Tempt the man in rage for God. She'll destroy us all with her mad desire to know, to discover, to understand herself. 
her world, her maker. Give a woman any freedom and she'll follow her curiosity, shape her own story, seek truth beyond the dictates of order and obedience. She will wreck your carefully controlled mandates, your reign of tightness. She will unmake your holy wars of right and wrong and infuse the realm with choice and instinct, empathy, outranking rules, creativity eclipsing war, sovereign, sovereignty subsuming blind servitude. When you want to know, like Eve, when you have a taste for truth and a hunger for wisdom, you have to question the stories, test the facts, rattle the cage. Who profits from you believing a lie? Who benefits because you believe you are both cause and curse? They have tried to burn you with their shame, strip you, violate you, shrink you, silence you. But they could not break your phoenix spirit. Its heart, its fierce heat will melt old regimes and inflame a generation who will not settle for smallness, for submission, for shame. Sink yourself into the feathered red sleeve of your ancestors and rise. Woman, rise again, for you are Persephone's daughter, Lilith's lover, Eve's heir. Find the truth, eat the fruit, and mask the myth. Let it burn. And we have the snake here from that old, old story. And then we have an introduction. And straight into the cards. And the first card, Howl with Fierceness. Okay, so let's have a little look at the images. So we've got a ribbon here. Oh, look at this. Wow. I tell you what, this, this Jenna's art is just, oh, it moves me. It really does. I love the art style. Okay, so this is what we have on the back. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's like a greeny colour and gold. Very shiny, as you can tell. We have gilded gold edging. So I'll put the box to one side and we'll have a little look at the images. Okay. Um, size reference. So, rider weight Smith, so it's just a tiny bit wider and taller, not too much. They're not massive oracle cards, these. If you were to compare them to, let me see, the divine nature, then, let me see, they are a little bit bigger than the divine nature cards, but <laughs> not very much. And let's put that away. Oh, look at the shiny backs on those. They're gorgeous. If we compare it, say, to the good tarot, which I did close the box on. Oh, it's all, always awkward to open these boxes. Okay, done it. Done it. This beautiful, beautiful image. We can see it's a lot smaller than the good tarot. Um. Not quite as tall, but a lot smaller in width. Okay. I didn't say, did I? This is Colette Baron Reed as well. But yeah, same artist. So yeah, that's the reason I bought this was I really like the Divine Nature Oracle by the same Angie Sullins. And I really like Jenna's artwork. So we begin with Howl with Fierceness, which is the same spirit animal on the inside of the box here. Oh. <laughs> Remember kindness, um, if you've watched any of my videos, if ever I see an elephant, I see my mother. So 
so yeah that speaks that really speaks and this trunk here look where is it touching it's coming down towards the heart chakra beautiful I miss my mama know yourself um, we have monkeys that's interesting because when we talk about a monkey mind you know when we can't control our thoughts maybe this is telling us to stay still to go within and dismiss the monkey mind to know our true selves we still balance. We've got a little hedgehog here. <laughs> That's a little confusing. Why would we have a hedgehog on our head? For we still balance. I'll have to sit with that one. And this lady here has a nose ring as well, quite interestingly. Um, take your place. What do we have? A bear. It's beautiful there now when i'm feeling hmm, attacked unsure of myself i associate with the bear hibernating in the cave until i feel strong enough to actually face the challenge to gather my strength i think so that one sort of speaks Heed your wisdom, and we have owls, of course, for wisdom. Owls are assigned to Athena, the goddess of wisdom. Look at these beautiful flowers. That's a beautiful card. Go beyond limits. So we have a sea turtle. Being underwater would actually be beyond my limits because I can't swim. <laughs> Engage compassion. The gentle deer are poppies again. The other association to my mother is poppies. Mm. Practice flexibility. Oh, look at that panda. Oh dear, they do love to roll and gamble, don't they? Gamble down the grass. Lovely. Prowl with confidence. Ooh, there's strength there. Dreadlocks. Wow. Release perfectionism. Um, I'm trying to think how the image aligns to the message. Maybe it's saying that nature is perfect as it is and doesn't need to compare. And what is perfect really? Natural. Natural things are perfect, aren't they? natural elements claim your sovereignty lots of snake energy there fight like a girl okay not sure about that one don't quite like that message fight like a girl leap <laughs> you got a frog that's cool Embrace the internal mother, holding a peacock. Remember who you are. And this is making a mudra, maybe, with the hands. There's definitely um, a sign going on here. Is it a heart? I can't, it's very dark. Let's just see if I can pull it up and see what it is. No, it's not. It's... Yeah, that's a strange hand position. Must mean something, unless it is a heart. Not sure. And we have a starfish. And are the eyes closed there? I would say it's very dark. It's um, Hard to see. Seek wonder. So here the focus is away from the person and focused onto this creature here. Is it the dragonfly? 
Damselfly. I'm not sure. I love watching them on the river. Beautiful. Use your cunning. So, Fox Energy. Listen, the world open. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear in the background of the video, but there's a wood pigeon singing outside. And when I go for a walk um, towards the beach, we've got skylarks. Oh, the sound of those skylarks. And they're such tiny birds, but you can hear them for miles. Rise again. Hmm. Scarab beetle. Protect your flow. Raw, as we've got leopard energy there. The artwork's stunning. Worship at the temple. The temple of what? We have ladybirds there. So I always think of that in a little rhyme. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on fire, your children all gone. <laughs> Such a sad little rhyme. Dig deep. That is stunning. You can almost smell the earth on that image. Remember your innocence. Embrace the interior winter. It's easier said than done, isn't it? But yeah, cycles of the soul. Awaken. Remember your wings. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. Gather your loyalties. Geese, we have geese. So much animal energy in this deck. Create your own paradise. Good advice. Radiate true colour. So much colour in there. Be tender. What is this animal? Koala bear. Hmm. Actually, in truth, I've just been lying down with Kai because he's hurt his paw. He's got some sort of a sore on the bottom of his paw, so he's on three legs at the minute. So we've just been having a little rest together since he had to go out. Dog has to go out. But yeah, I think he's on three legs for a while. Never mind. Rewild your spirit. God, the inner child. <laughs> All the rabbits. Hold true to your vision. An octopus. Believe in the impossible. Champion peace. Gather your tribe. So we have all the animals there. Look. The owl, we've got the bear, we've got the fox, we've got the badger. A lot going on there. Some sort of winged creature. A snake. I think there's a snail there as well. Harvest the honey, we have sunflowers and bees. Rest deep, swan. Reclaim your soul's skin, and we have like a sulky energy to seal. Remember the little things, and we have a little animal, a dormouse maybe. Hmm. 
tell your story or if you don't like spiders <laughs> but it's weaving its web isn't it which is its story a bit of a tarantula actually and then that laugh with a life card which i read out okay so it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous gorgeous deck i really like it um i think it's um a deck for affirmations when you're feeling a little bit vulnerable maybe this is a deck that will help i would think you know use your cunning we don't always have to face things head on you know if we think about it a little bit we maybe can come at a problem from a different angle so using your mind to actually figure that out remember your innocence i like that the seahorse. <laughs> Let's take a look at another one, shall we? Um, I'm going to go with this 26, Embrace the Interior Winter. Let's have a little look. What's it say? And look what we have here. Sacred Geometry. A woman's creative life, as well as a deep soul life, follows cycles and rhythms, just as nature does. Not every season is marked by the rich blossoming of creativity. Some seasons are marked by fallow fields, barren lands and a deep need to retreat. Right now you're, in, you're being invited to let go, allow. Let the interior winter have its full season. When you gift yourself the time to retreat in order to companion the spirit of rebirth, wild woman rises. Yeah, I think this is going to be a very good deck for support. A support during times when you are feeling you need some support and don't know where to go for it. I think this would be a really good deck to actually uh, draw a card, look at the imagery, read the book and then journal. Journal how you're feeling and, you know, journal through it. I always think it's a good thing. I write pages and pages and pages of journaling. And sometimes just to get it out on a page, gets it out from inside and then you can, I don't know, it's a release, isn't it? Anyway, that's my thoughts and my first impressions on this absolutely beautiful, stunning artwork in The Wild Woman Rising by Angie Sullins and Jenna Della Taglia. And so for now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here with me. And until the next time, bye friends. Bye.